everybody and welcome back to my channel. Guess who's still here? <laughs> Guess who's still here at my house. <laughs> um, so as you guys know, we are, my cheat sheet is showing. We are headed to Uncon um, this coming week. And so we've been brainstorming like what fun videos we could make together for you guys. And today it struck me, we should make one on maximizing the Uncon experience. So whether um, or not you are attending Uncon, keep watching because this applies. Whether you're going to go to a road show or you're going to go to a local meeting or you're going to go to a giant convention, which we call Uncon because we're unconventional, <laughs> um, you can apply these ideas and principles. So we're going to talk about things you can do before, during, and after Uncon to keep your business rolling because we know that you can maximize your potential and income and recruiting after an event because the buzz is happening, everybody's excited. So let's give those tips. So when you are getting ready to travel to your event, again, regardless of what kind of an event it is, there are some things that you can do to really kind of, you know, boost your opportunity in your business, right? Because people are excited to learn, like, why are you traveling? Every time I sit on an airplane, I'm like, so are you traveling for business or pleasure? You know, it's a conversation. So be prepared to talk about your business. And the way that I do that most frequently, because I most frequently travel via plane, is I read the catalog like it's a magazine. And that gets people asking me questions. And while I'm reading the catalog, I apply my Big Fat Yummy hand cream. And whenever I'm applying it, always, what's that? Oh, it's my favorite hand cream. Would you like to try some? And just like that, you have gotten the posh on the people. That was very long-winded. What tip do you have, Abby? So something that you can do is hype up your VIP group or your friends list if you don't have a VIP group yet and let people know where you're going. They want to be excited for you. So if you're excited and you'd be like, oh my gosh, I'm going to be one of the first people to see the new products. I'm going to get my hands on the products and I can share that with you. People will get really, really excited about that. You might even start a wait list. Get on my wait list so that you're one of the very first people I send my new samples to. Something I do with this wait time before a catalog launch is, is I incentivize my my VIPs like hey if anyone orders you're gonna be the first to get the biggest sample pack from when I get back from convention on the note that you were saying of telling people that you're going I think that's so important because a lot of people you know are getting excited but they're not putting that out there you might consider changing your profile picture or even your cover photo announcing that I'm gone to Indianapolis for Uncon or I'm gone to New York City for a posh meeting or whatever because then when you're away and we're going to get to that and I'm getting a little ahead of ourselves when you're posting all your fabulous pictures your people are already knowing where you are and why you're there right because people need to see something like 11 times before mm -hmm. they actually retain it so get them pumped up that you're going on a trip so some so something else that you can do so another thing to prep is to either grab yourself a posh shirt if you have one or a posh bag while you're traveling because that is such a conversation starter. I actually recruited someone on a plane one time because she noticed my bag from the Punta Cana incentive and she's like, oh my God, because she saw the dates and she's like, oh my God, you just went to Punta Cana. I was like, yeah, it's for free. So if you have something posh that says like, hey, I have samples, people will be like, what kind of samples do you have? So a couple of years ago, when I first got started with Posh, I was a super overachiever. So this tip comes from my super overachieving myself a couple of years ago, because I didn't do it this time. Oopsie. Anyway, you can pre-print shipping labels for your customers so that you can actually ship samples from the event that you're at. I literally did this. I did this at an event that I went to, and I also did it on an incentive trip that I went to. I was handwriting out my notes in advance so that I knew I could get these things in the mail as fast as possible, and it made my customers feel super special. And if you're on a budget, what you could do is just take thank you cards with a stamp on it, and at Uncon Check-In, or sometime during the event, you do get a bundle of samples, so you can stick one of those in the card and get those out as soon as you get them because those do take a little bit longer. But if you're on a budget, that's a really good way to do that kind of overachieving thing. Anytime that you can pop something in snail mail that's not a bill to somebody, they're going to really appreciate receiving that. Let's, you wanna switch sides? Sure. sure. Okay, now you've arrived to your event. What are you going to do now, Abby? 
So something that you probably remember from school is taking notes and it's very important to recall information and remember stuff. So a posh event is no different. You're going to be learning so many things about how to sample, how to take pictures, how to do different kinds of parties. And while you may be excited and think you're going to remember everything, you won't. It's a lot. It's three days, two days, three days. Yeah. It's a lot of information. So take yourself a notebook and a pen and make sure you're writing important stuff down or pull out your phone to take pictures of slides. That way you remember the important stuff so when you get home, you can put that to action. So in school, I wasn't the best note taker, but I was really good at this next tip that I'm going to give to, going to, give to you. Meet new friends. I want you to make a point to meet at least one new friend every single day. I would rather tell you to meet 10 new friends every single day, but we're gonna, we're gonna start with the low. Yeah. Meet at least one new friend every single day. You guys, postures are so friendly, like literally the most friendly on the planet. And if you can't find a friendly posture, then come meet me. Or her. Yeah, one of the things I like to tell people if they're going to an event by themselves is if you see a table with an empty seat, go ask them if you can sit with them because everyone will be like, yeah, of course, there's no reason like that you'd want someone to be by themselves. I've actually met a lot of friends at events. Like, you know how we always meet people on Facebook and stuff, but like it's fun to like find someone at an event that you didn't talk to previously. I met one of my friends, Natalie, at our premiere pledge that we had, and now we're rooming together at Uncon. So it's kind of fun that you can meet these people that you didn't think were on your radar, mm -hmm. and they become such a big part of your life. It's true. One of my very first um, incentive trips, I had the opportunity to meet one of my very first best friends ever in Posh, Katrina Rimmel. And meeting Katrina and the relationship that we formed really helped to propel me in my business. Just having that person outside of my team that I could reach out to and just kind of banter about ideas and, you know, sometimes a little complaints, whatever. But that relationship really did help propel my business. So um, on that note, I would suggest bringing business cards because it's really easy to swap business cards. That way you easy have somebody's contact information. And if you're sitting there thinking, oh, but Jessica, I don't have business cards. I bet you have a cell phone. Swap numbers. Now this is not a packing video, but if you are going to go to a posh event, you need a backup battery for your phone. Mm -hmm. And a charger, wall charger. That's important. You know why else you need to have that battery backup? Why? Because you're going to be taking all of the pictures. And always wear a smile. And always come take selfies with us. Because they're really good for your social media. They are so good for your social media. You know how you're hyping your social media and your VIP group up for your trip? Um, don't let them down. You need to be posting. I know it might seem busy and you might not have time, but you have always, you always have time to take a selfie and upload it. So when you're at the product bar sampling products that are brand new, take pictures of you with them. So you have a selfie with every product, line up some, you know, products and take pictures of them. Do a little live in your VIP group. Everybody's doing it at the event and it really gets your customers that first look at those products and getting them excited to place their order on the 12th. Think back to a time where you maybe weren't able to attend an event. How much were you stalking people's timelines? Oh, all to that see? FOMO is so real. So give your customers FOMO because we'll talk about why later. It's true. Literally just snap a picture. It doesn't have to be framed perfectly. The lighting doesn't. This is the one time you get to throw those rules out the window and just snap the pictures and just snap a video. When Anne comes out on stage and everybody's all jumping up and down and everybody's dancing, snap a video of the crowd. That's exciting. But the most important thing that I think is part of going to an event is stepping outside of your comfort zone. Because if you just stay inside yourself or just stay with your group of people, you're not going to get the same experience of the event. Mm -hmm. When you go outside your comfort zone, when you go home, you'll be more willing to go outside your comfort zone and you'll be so happy that you said hi to a new person or you went up to Anne and asked for that selfie because those are memories that are going to last a lifetime. Yes. On that same note, I want you guys to soak it all in because it truly is like a completely, you, you are immersed in the posh life. So soak it in and enjoy it because it's such a fun time. Yeah. Letting it soak in, I think is really important. Like when you're listening to those words from other leaders and home office, those are things that are spoken from the heart. So let yourself get emotional, let yourself feel those things and be inspired in your business and take a note in your notebook about how you felt because you're going to want to remember that when you get home. So 
you're home from OnCon, now what do you do? You wanna keep sharing your experience. You probably only uploaded a couple of your photos, like the really important ones. So create a whole album for the event and just photo dump all your photos in there. Ask your friends for photos that they took and make sure you're sharing the experience. I like to make a post on like my business page, just like my reflection of the event, like what really stood out to me, the friends I made, like what felt the most important. If you have to go back through your notes, do that because that's how you're going to retain that information and put it into play in your business. So yeah, just keep remembering everything you learned at Uncon. And take action. If you weren't one of those overachievers that pre-printed your labels and took your sample packs to Uncon to get out from there, then you need to take care of it promptly upon your return home. Because you've already done your job of hyping up this experience, right? Sharing the pictures, getting your VIPs excited. Well, don't let them down. Get those samples into their hands right away. So yeah, here's a reminder to go on Amazon right now and pre-order your Laycons and your mailers if you don't have them. That way you can get samples out ASAP. You're welcome. <laughs> okay, so we talked about making friendships at Uncon and stepping outside of your comfort zone. And this is kind of like the fun part of doing that is because you get to collab with your friends. One of the people you met might be really good at home parties and you're maybe like, have never done one. Mm -hmm. Talk with them, ask how they do it. That's why I love making friends with Posh because everyone works their business differently and yep. give you ideas of how to better your business. And you also want to start budgeting for the next event because you know now how important these events are for your business. I'm telling you, I love my business. I'm excited to work my business all of the time, but I am not anywhere near as excited yeah. as I am when I get home from a posh event. That is just fire in your belly that you cannot recreate on your own. So budget for the next event because you don't want to miss it. Yeah, and you'll learn after this event that so many good things will happen in your business. You, because you're there trying the products and showing your customers the items, they're going to want to buy it more because they have your firsthand opinion and people are going to want to join your team because they're going to see how much fun you're having. So that's why you need to post the pictures and the videos and talk about your experience and put it to action because people will want to be successful and have fun just like you. True story. I'm so excited to see you guys there next week. Make sure you come and find us and take a picture with us. Because we love selfies. <laughs> and posing. We'll do um, this in every selfie. You're welcome. <laughs> now, who's going to use these tips and grow their business? I want to hear about it down in the comments. If you guys enjoyed our tips, I hope you will hit that thumbs up button. And don't forget to hit subscribe so you don't miss another one of our videos. Thanks for watching. <laughs> and have a great day.